And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights. We have a TSA this evening, Southern Aggression. It is on this fine Friday. We got 215 currently in the server pop, 107 on the attacking CSA, and 108 on the defending Union. Let's take a look at that Union team. We got Lieutenant Mattis, looks like one gun here, on Reno's Fall here, which is usually takes a while to get the Yardie in place, but can be effective. Let's see, on the rest of the Union team here, looks like we have. WS here under Major Brook. We've got MWB under Willie Stone. We've got Kilroy and Hood leading the 42nd PA. Fourth West Virginia led by First Sergeant Sherman. 79th NYH is there as well. See, then we got 19th Indiana led by Captain Joker. The NYV led by Mr. Parker. Let me ask you. And the first VA. Uh, who lead the first VA? I'm not sure who lead the first VA. All right, they're live at 43, though, so let's see if I can see who's on the CSA team. We've got HL led by Tabre. We've got PB led by Bocephus. We've got MSG led by Viking. 8th Georgia led by Colonel Knight. 8th Alabama led by My Name Ryder. We've got AB, 7th Tennessee. And then we've got 20th Georgia, led by Major Canada. And I believe Asar is in here as well. I, if I missed anybody, I do apologize, but we are live and we are a go. See how the Union sets up on this defense and where the CSA wants to attack. So though, for those that are looking to pick up the game or wondering, this is the War Rights game is currently on sale for Steam, or in Steam, I should say. Uh, for 15 U.S. dollars, so 50% off. So if you're looking for a time to get it, uh, now is the time. That Steam sale lasts until the 21st of March, so if you're looking to pick it up, now might be a good time. Uh, this event, the Southern Aggression, is o open to new members at the moment, so if you're a unit looking for an event uh, at uh, 8 p.m. EST on Fridays, TSA is open. And then if you were a new player or a veteran player looking for a new unit, um, I have left uh, too many of these units um, their link to their Discord, so you can join up if you so choose. So give them a look and sign up if you uh, think uh, they might be uh, fun to hang around with and play a little bit with for these events. And here we got HL coming up here. Initial volley there by who was that? 42nd? As they displace back from the smoke. Oh, but HL got a nice chunk of them as they were falling back. Full cover, full cover, poison. Lots of cover, you really lose it. We'll zoom out of here a little bit to see how the zone. So 42nd is forward. You've got one unit guarding the far right, which is the NYV. Along with the first VA, that's a lot on that right side. In the center here, we got the MWB joined by the Western Sharpshooters. Then you've got the 4th West Virginia, 19th Indiana. And I believe that's it in the 79th over here, also in the center. And 42nd is the main unit. is right now fighting the entire CSA team here. That is all organized here against the 42nd. By the way, if you are enjoying these videos and uh, like to support the channel, um, I'm always looking for you know, you know, you know the you know the grift. Hey, hold your fire, hold your fire. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Share the videos, help the channel grow. I would always I always appreciate that. I hope you guys find it useful and/or entertaining, at the very least. Now, with the recent update, they have changed the flag timer from uh, 10 seconds to 5 seconds. Press reload, press so reload, this is the first time I've seen a TSA with this new uh, format here. So I'm very curious to see how it'll go, especially on a map like this. I think it's going to be very hard for the Union to hold out against the CSA and yeah. wipe them. They're going to be able to kind of just push forward in a massive blob here. And I'm not sure if the Union can, can do anything about it. It uh, looks like we have the start of possibly the cav raid here by Mr. Parker. He's maneuvering out a little bit here. We'll see if he tries to uh, flank around the CSA. But for now, we've got basically not quite a Z, but kind of close to one. I guess it's a Z, not a Z at this point. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, kind of. As soon as 40 second gets reformed here a little bit. Meanwhile, the whole entire CS team is all built together. Although, it looks like we got some maneuvers going on now. AB was kind of watching the flank here. They're changing the fire there with... Who is this out here? 79th, I imagine? Yep, 79th. Rick's boys here is exchanging some fire. And then we've got the 20th. Major Cannon is bringing his boys out to the left side here. Maybe to try to tangle with Parker and his guys. We will see. So far, pretty steady. As long as it's distant shooting, and this is going to favor the Union. Let us see where the yard is at. How close are they to getting their gun up? Uh, Mattis is working on it. Still a little ways away. I gotta change my key by. So looks like uh, first Sergeant Connor is leading the first VA. Uh, looks like we got a raid developing here. NYV, tip of the spear, moving up. Make the volume a little bit higher. They did also update the void, so. My sound systems have been a little bit off. CSA pushing up pretty far here. This looks kind of what I was afraid of. It's going to be very hard for the unit to outshoot this element here. I can't see shit. up a little bit. So Louis Stone is gonna refuse and reinforce this center position here. Sounds like Kilroy has not Kilroy. Uh, Mattis has gotten his gun going. When they call for a round, you can go ahead and grab. Trying to see where he is at. Quite see him. Where are you at? Oh, there he is. He's right here. Fuck. Fuck. The Union starting to take some damage. I don't think the center position is really feasible anymore. You can see how much they've lost. And these guys are just getting tritted down and down. And they're starting to lose that ticket advantage quite significantly here. At this rate, I think the CSA is, is made on track to win. Like not even a second after
Yo, I think we're good. Union's starting to catch up a little bit on tickets here. But right now, really still in the favor of the CSA, I would say. Let's see if I could find. Where's Mattis with his yeah, gun? The five second response time is the best. Oh, yeah. Just staying. The highest, like I watched ten men. The highest I saw the number go was two. Look. Oh gosh, they didn't oh, that was long. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Jack. 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 Honestly, now would be a good. Fire. Yeah, he left a bleak right here. Down Georgia. Alright, we're doing pretty good other than the fact that I can't stay alive for like three fucking seconds. God damn it! Again. Check on ready, Georgia. Check on ready. Check ready. Hey, Georgia. Union has gone down to engage with that shot from 8th Alabama. Yeah, this position here is a, where I believe all these casualties are coming from for the most part. The problem is the Union can't really abandon it without being in some serious trouble here. I'm still of the opinion that they need to kind of wrap up this flank here if they want to try to loosen that up. Brum is trying to fight against, I think. I don't think there's really an angle right now. 20 Georgia's got him. Unless you do a wide flank, but that takes a lot of men out of the fight here. We'll see. And as you can see, the ticket battle is not going in the favor of the Union at all. You see, these guys had, were forced to actually move up off of this fence here into this, but they are much more vulnerable now. For example, I'm kind of surprised. Canada, you could turn and shoot them at a pretty easy pace here. But uh, Parker and 79th also are keeping them pretty contained. Right now, at this pace, I still say the CSA is set. So 19th Indiana, Joker's got him doing some pop volleys, popping up and getting back down here. 
don't have to see if that's going to be sufficient. Cap, do you want me to move somewhere? <laughs> So the ticket counter is still going down, 28-30 remaining. Well, looks like Knight is going to move out a little bit here. I think they're starting to make the calculus. They can start making some moves now that they've gotten a good ticket advantage. And perhaps collapse the Union line here. We'll see. Yep, here we go. Now we got some movement. HL is now moving out to this side here. And we'll see if they try to collapse this flank here for the Union. These guys will now have excellent shots down that line, or they might try to mass up with 20th. Take this hill position here, this rock position here from the NYV, and then roll up the Union flank. Either way, the CSA has a lot of opportunities here, and NYV is in a very vulnerable position. But once NYV pulls back, that position over there becomes very vulnerable. But this really is the CSA's map at the moment. Now we do have, who's out here? I don't know what this is, 79th plus friends. But they are just being swallowed up here by any ailment that comes down here in force. We'll see. See, 26 minutes and the Union has not even gotten the CSA down to engage yet. And they're about halfway down. Is that Philly smoking the tree line to our left, or is that enemy? You got this wide flanking maneuver here by 79. This is very dangerous here for Adeline tickets, which the Union cannot afford at the moment. And we'll see if HL here can catch him. Hey, somebody go pick up the flags behind us. There we go, CSA is now hit engaged. LN right on Sandy. LN right, LN right. I don't like Yeah. Oh my god, I saw 25 minutes halfway down. This is definitely the CSA's match. See, this is very dangerous, these guys out here doing this bit. These are a lot of tickets, the way they're set up. They're coming out from the rock. They're, 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 they're charging us. Charging. And here comes the charge, but it's only the 20th. HL is not with him, which I'm kind of surprised Kenner did this charge alone. I don't think he has enough combat power to win this without uh, HL, who's close by. And Parker will hold that charge without too much difficulty. In the meantime, now HL is going to charge off. 
this element here. When these guys, WS came up to help, but these are a lot of out-of-line pickets that the Union is giving up now that they cannot afford to lose. And here they come, and this will be a juicy reward for them. HL now has the flank of the Union. Who is there to stop them? Major Brook is going to try to come back with the WS, but I don't think they're enough. You've got First VA that's kind of looking over the side here. Let's run it. But NYV has now had to pull out of that center position. Try to hold it. Meanwhile, some pressure has been brought off the center, but they can't really move too much. Good call, by, I think, there by Parker to try to come in... Uh, Deal with HL and stop them from coming behind you. But we'll see if Parker can hold this attack here by HL. You mean almost on taking losses here, 22 minutes. Looks like MWB has come to help him. Y'all are, uh, are, are way strung out. Alright, just stack up two ranks right here, boys. Just the right of the rocks. Two ranks, two ranks right of the rocks. Find your dot, find your dot. Direct straight ahead, boys. I want you boys to direct straight ahead down my line right there, boys. Position one, position two. Take aim straight Take ahead. Aim. Position one, position two. Georgia. Fire! Union is now at taking losses, and the CSA is capping. Is this HL making a charge? Yes, it is. This is what I was going to see. Let's see if Parker can hold him. Looks like First VA is with him. Looks like some other units as well. That hey, might boy, be enough. Hey, we'll see. Hey. This is going to be pretty key for the Union to win this fight. they got to win it decisively. Because they cannot afford to lose too many tickets taking these guys out. And it looks like they are successful. And that will knock out the flag of HL. And avoid disaster. And I think that was a good part of Parker knowing to move off of this point back into the... Uh, the corn here, but also joined by some reinforcements oh by First VA, by Mr. Connor, as well as some of these other units like WS and 79th. Although I, I, I don't think the Union can be so uh, haphazard sending out skirmishers like they were out to these far sections here and getting them killed and strung out out of line. They cannot afford to lose those tickets, not on a map like this. Company, take aim! Man is still alive with those guns. Let's see how 40 seconds doing back here. Still holding strong on this angle here, trying to hold down a good chunk of the CSA team. Oh, yeah. 20 minutes remaining, taking losses, not ideal. CSA's got plenty of tickets left, almost a full morale state above. And they got plenty of time left, although not, in some, not, a, not a ton. But I would expect the CSA to start getting a little bit more aggressive here. And the MWB is a little strung out here. Could try to uh, talk to him, it looks like. Yeah, see this again. I, I disagree with little guys out there like that. Yeah, uh, in between the corner and the trees, where you see them. They're right there, right now, about to shoot. We've got a wide flank to build again with some of WS. Yeah, see this this element of the unit is 
getting a little bit too strung out here. We got a decent fist here with Parker and Connor if they want to make some kind of move here. But, um, yeah, small little elements. See these guys out here? Two are already, well, one is already dead. No, 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 you got all three still alive. All right. So all three are still alive, never mind. But still, I wouldn't put nobody at this. This little rock shit. Each key, no good. It's a new game. Five second respawn has changed the game. The sooner you learn, the better. CSA is thinking over on this side here. You got Canada moving back over. You got HL on a pretty powerful line here in the center. Looks like Josephus is moving down the PB. MSG is now joined up with AB along this line here. Poking at. So whatever, whoever's here is gone. I don't know if they all left or if they died. CSA is actually really thinning out on this side, actually. Um, they're really concentrating on the center. In fact, it looks like they might be making a push with HL as the uh, baseline of it. They might be able to swallow up the MWB here pretty quickly. Break, 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 reload! Back, 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 back! You can't cry! They're really putting everything into the center now. Union's really strung out here. Got first VA now moving back to the center. See, now you've allowed the CSA to get the strong center position here. With this L formation, it's going to be near impossible to get them off of it. Once the CSA sees of this, it is near impossible to get them off. Especially not with the five uh, second respawn people here. And you can just see them start massing their fire. So the Union thinned out too much, I say, on the center here. And this is the cost that you've allowed this to occur. Holy oh, shit, there's nothing left, man. No, oh in the corner, check. 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 South, south, south. Here we go. Down the line, if can see. attack is on. Seven minutes. So maybe if NYB can gather up all these disparate units and somehow knock out 20th, who has a restraining unit right there, and then get them in the flank, maybe. But you can't hit them on this flank. You have to hit them all the way behind and get there before the reinforcements come, which is not an easy task. The other options for Hood to try to find an angle over here. But again, they're going to see him moving up here. So that is not really a great option either. Right now, it's going to be very hard. We'll see if the Union can figure a way out of this. But right now, they've only got six minutes for this uh, counterattack. Might be starting to move back to the center here a bit. Okay, Looks like 19th Indiana has joined with Hood. I'd say they're going in a little bit too. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe this will work. They gotta. The key though is they gotta get around. They gotta get all the way over here. They can't hit that too early. All right, so he's ordered to hold the rocks and gun. I think that is the right call. If he can get in here. Right, well, now they're pushing in, but I think now that was, you had to choose one or the other. You either had to go in or you had to not go in, but we'll see. They have gotten through these first two elements here. They need support. 
If it's unsupported, you see now his Jordan has turned on him. So there's nothing to restrain him. They're just going to get massacred here. Now they're coming in, but it's too late. That element's already been dealt with. Now you got HL here in the cell formation. Parker's going to hit. But now the remnants of this force is just going to turn on him. You've also had a great move here by 20th Georgia here. Canada has cut off 1st VA and these other units out here who are going to just get farmed for outstanding tickets. Coming across this open ground here without cover with five men charging in a trench position. They're just going to get slaughtered here. Great tickets here. And wisely they turned back. I don't know why you went out that way in the first place. Yeah. Back they go. AB here as well. Good job on that. Great move by 20th and AB. Union on breaking, and then, as you can see, this line is held. It is very hard to stop this formation here, especially with the new flag respawn rate. You've got to overwhelm it quickly. I honestly think this might be the death of the small units. Anything below 20 men I think might no longer be viable in this game. We'll see if I'm right about this. I might be uh, too, uh, too harsh on it. AB coming out here, going to tangle with the uh, 79th, two skirmish units. But honestly, this battle doesn't matter all that much. Even whoever wins, what are you going to do with the... Say AB wins, what are you going to do? Say WS wins, what are you going to do? These mass formations now. And these hard-to-beat center blocks. Kind of like a bite and hold strategy. Here, Hood's coming back up on the flank. Again, I think he stopped too shallow. I think he's got to come up and try to get all the way behind him. They have no reason to. Get five seconds spawn now. There's no reason. I can just sit here and shoot out with you. See, here comes an attack here. Who's this? 8th Alabama coming up on the flank. They have just bottled up this attack here. Two minutes remaining. This element here is snuck. The fire of HL. Along with these elements out here. So it looks like AB has won that battle here. MSG came to help them. So now they possibly have a back route into the flank over here. Parker's going to charge 20th through the open ground here. Let's be a wall. Let's be a wall. And Parker has won that charge there with the Please score to WS. Go. Well done to the NYV. Uh, but it might be too late here. They've got another charge that went, went in here with the MWB, but they've been uh, knocked off. This element here has got a turn. But, oh, but this element out here has wisely turned the MSG. Well done to restrain and delay the NYV here. A great fixing move here by the MSG and AB has split the NYV's attention. 
Now you see only a couple elements heading for me for the uh, point, but it's too late. Great job by that unit. And this will end this match in a decisive win for the CSA team. I think they're adapting to the new tactics faster than the Union is, to be honest with you. Getting into these strong blobs and holding a strong position. You saw how to defeat it. Parker showed you how to defeat it. Defeat it. You can't get in a shootout. you got to wipe them. Otherwise, who's ever got the biggest team is just going to move forward, seize the defensible position, which, again, the Union spurred itself out in that center and allowed the CSA to get that strong position there. Once that happened, it became impossible to get them off of it. But we'll see how the next map goes. we got one more. I believe it's a Colquitz. Now, this will be another one. Uh, we'll see how it goes. That one, I think, might actually favor the uh, attacker a little bit more. It might favor the Union, but we'll see. My theory holds up.